Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're finally here. We're finally ready for volume one, which of course it's volume one because I want to do more in the future of the best and worst of green lipsticks. So I've spent months, quite a long time now, collecting green lipsticks, and I've got 11 lipsticks here I'm going to be talking about today, and really it's a bit of a different kind of experience because like with black lipsticks like I know what I'm looking for and kind of exactly what I want out of those like shade wise um formula wise for red lipsticks kind of the same thing but for green green is kind of different it's not something I'm really reaching for as much but it is something I love and I can't really explain why <laughs> but I love like a nice neutral look and a green lip I just I think it's unique I think it's fun I think it's different I've got different finishes here I've got bullet lipsticks, I've got lip glosses, a metallic lipstick, and some traditional regular liquid lipsticks as well. Because of that, I think this first volume is really going to be all over the place and hopefully it'll help me inform the choices for volume two and hopefully your recommendations as well. So yeah, let's jump in. I've got 11 lipsticks and let's have some fun. I'm going to start with the two bullet lipsticks I have for this video and they're both from the Sephora Collections series. These are $9 each and Sephora came out with like a huge collection of bullet lipsticks and so they are really affordable. They're $9 each and the packaging reflects that. It's like really light cardboard and plastic packaging and I got two of them because they did have two green shades. These are shades 70 and 47. Shade 70 is called Margs which is this like kind of light pale green kind of shade which wasn't my favorite. I really didn't like this one. It was, let me look, I'm gonna look at my notes while I'm doing this because I have a lot of notes for all of these lipsticks. Marg's was pretty see-through, not really pigmented, very patchy, and it didn't really look good once I fully applied it. And you can see that in the swatch, I think. It makes me look kind of dead. <laughs> not, I mean, sometimes that's a look, but not what I was really going for with the green lipstick look. So I wasn't a huge fan of that one, but on the other hand, the Cash Money shade, this is gorgeous. I loved the shade. It's like the perfect dark green shade that I was looking for. I have to say, I got a lot of different shades of green here, and this is definitely one of my favorite shades. Um, I think this one and probably the Jeffree Star one that's going to be coming up later are some of my favorite shades of green, along with the gloss that I'm wearing right now. But it's, oh, it's really good. It's really creamy. It's really comfortable. This one was opaque. This one just poof, green. <laughs> and it looked great. Uh, so let's see. According to my notes, it's the perfect dark green color. Super comfortable and pigmented. Definitely a great option for a green bullet lipstick. But I have a note that says you get the downsides of bullet lipstick. So of course, it's going to transfer. It's not going to stay in place. You have to really pay attention to it because you can, if you get green somewhere else on your face, like kind of like with a red or a black lipstick, there's no nice, subtle way to clean that up. Like, <laughs> I got green on my nose while I was swatching one of these, and it's still there. <laughs> I didn't want to take off all of my makeup and like redo it. But that's kind of what you have to do if you make a mistake with a green lipstick. So, oof be forewarned but if you're looking for a nice dark pigmented green lipstick that's really affordable and comfortable uh, the sephora collection one was incredible next let's talk about another one from the sephora collection that i'm not a huge fan of and this is just the sephora collection liquid lipstick they go for 15 dollars and I, I have to say so i liked the the applicator on this it's a really nice little doe foot and the smell I don't know, it, it smells kind of chemically, but not really, like, sweet. Like, I, I really like it, so I like all of that. And the formula seems to be okay, but this is not what I'm looking for in a green lipstick. This was advertised as a green, and this is a teal. This is, like, a bluey teal, like, see, this is what I think is a green, and this is the, this is, no. So it's definitely too blue for me. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the color. I mean, the formula was pretty decent, until I went to take it off warning this was in like incredibly hard to take off i think i went through like two makeup wipes you need a micellar water to take this thing off but like that th that being said for something that hard to take off it was pretty comfortable <laughs> so I i'd be interested in trying maybe different colors from this liquid lipstick collection because they are pretty affordable i mean 
the $15, not the cheapest, not the most expensive on this list, but I didn't like this color. Not what I'm looking for in a green. All right, let's talk about um, a lipstick from a brand I had never tried. And this was on sale when I got it on the Sephora website. And let's just say that I now know why it was on sale. So this is from Black Up. And this was a no transfer liquid lipstick in the shade 12. So again, this is the closest thing they had to green. But it's just like the Sephora lip, like it's almost the exact same color as the Sephora collection lipstick. It's like a teal, a really blue teal shade. I'm looking at my notes here and I literally wrote UGG, like a worse version of the Sephora liquid lipstick. This was really hard to apply. It was very patchy. It was very see-through. It was not a good experience trying to put this on, let me tell you. It was really uncomfortable. I didn't like applying it. I didn't like how it looked. I'm definitely not going to be touching this ever again. I think it's still available on the Sephora website, but it's super discounted. This was originally, I think, $27, which, mm, that's too much. And it was on sale for $13 when I got it. That's still too much. I won't touch this ever again. This is going to be immediately decluttered. Nah. No. All right, let's go to um, a bit of a different lipstick, which, oof, man, did this just like almost ruin my day. <laughs> so I got this from the Ulta website. This is the JCat Beauty Flash Metal Metallic Lip in, I don't think it even has a shade name. It says FM 109. This is the closest thing they had to a green shade in this line. Um, I think, let me just, I'll, I'll let you see the application process for this, but uh, I couldn't put this on. It smelled terrible. It looked terrible. It actually burnt my lips. And I couldn't finish putting it on and even do just like the little cute, like, oh, here's how it looks. No, I immediately like, took this off. I could not do it. I don't know what's in this. I don't know what kind of chemicals are in this, but Jesus, I'm never, I mean, this has put me off of any liquid or any lip product from JCat Beauty ever. <laughs> and I don't want to. I don't care if it was $4.99. That was $4.99 too much for the experience that I had to deal with for this. <laughs> Oof. Bye bye. Okay, so I have one green lip gloss that I found, and that was from Lime Crime. This is the Wet Cherry Lip Gloss in the shade Monster Cherry. Now, in the bottle, this looks really pretty, like pigmented and green and sparkly, and I am wearing it on my lips today. However, in the application that you'll see, I tried putting this on over my bare lips, and it did not look great. It's not fully pigmented like you would think from the bottle. But it is a really nice lip gloss. It smells gorgeous. <sighs> like, like oh, it smells like frosting. I love the smell. And it does, it doesn't taste like frosting, but it's not a bad taste either. But this isn't liquid on its own. You can't wear this on its own. I'm currently wearing this over another green lipstick and it looks gorgeous over another green lipstick, but you need that base. You can't wear this on its own because it's just not enough pigment. And it is a bit sticky. Like, as I'm talking, I can probably, I don't think you can see, like, strings of goopy claws, but I can feel my lips coming together and apart, which doesn't bug me too much, especially because I love the effect of this just so much. But that being said, this was $18 from the Lime Crime website. $18 for a topper seems a bit too much, but it's, like, the perfect shade. It looks great, and I know I can use it on top of a bunch of different lipsticks. So for me, I think it's worth it. But I do think it is a bit pricey, so I think there's probably some better stuff out there. I've got to look. I don't know if green lip glosses are really that big of a uh, category, but I, I like this. And I'm glad I got it. Alright, so the next one is kind of a meh in the middle of the road green lipstick, and this one is from Carity. So this is the Carity Liquid Lipstick in the shade Matcha Gracias, which I love that name. That's adorable. But I have to say, this was a bit patchy when I was putting this on. I had to do a couple of layers to get it to be fully opaque. I think the bottle and the applicator is a bit too big. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like this is a bit too long for a lipstick. I don't know. Maybe I just have tiny hands, but I felt like as I was doing this, it just felt a bit too long for me. It's a pretty comfortable formula, and I like the shade. I called it a nice puke green kind of color, but... Yeah, like I said, middle of the road. It is not the best. It's not the worst. I picked this up from the Carity website and it was only $6. So honestly, 
not a bad, like, affordable lipstick. That being said, Carity is hit or miss. I also picked up their black lipstick, which is also $6. I think it's gonna be in my next video of the best and worst of black lipsticks, but I didn't like it. It wasn't good. Mm -hmm. But I like the green. I think the green is like an okay middle of the road. If you're looking for like that kind of pukey, weird, light green, honestly, it's six bucks. Not bad. All right, so I do have to say, I do like that carroty green better than this next one. It actually got me to finally decide I'm going to declutter this. This is the Kylie lipstick. So this is the shade Ironic. It's the shade Ironic. It came in a lip kit. I got the lip liner. I like Kylie lip liners, but it's hard to fuck up a lip liner, you know? But I hate the Kylie lipstick formula. I kept this because it was one of my only green lipsticks for the longest time. And so I've, I wanted to have a green lipstick and that's why I kept it. But the Kylie formula is just so dry. Like, think of ColourPop ultra matte lipsticks, but make them even drier yeah that dry ah oh, i feel like a mummy wearing this but i love the color but the thing is the color only looked good for like the first 20 minutes so you had to put it on and then immediately take whatever picture you wanted because it would dry and it would crack and you could see the cracks oh. so yeah this was 18 dollars too much for the full kit now that i have other options for green lipsticks i'm definitely not going to be using this anymore and then this is going to be decluttered and I'm glad that I finally have some other options because honestly, you could get, it's a little bit darker, but the Carity one is $6 and so much better than the Kylie one. Get the Carity, not this one. Please save your lips. Don't put your lips through that. So this next lipstick is from Menagerie Cosmetics. It was eight, no, this was $14.95 from their website. And this surprised me. I love the color, I love the application, I love the shade, I love everything about it. It is a little dry, but honestly not too much. Like if you just put a chapstick on and let it sink in before you put this on, I think you're fine. But if you wear it for a full day, you need to keep it in touch up because it, some parts can dry out and look a little dry, uh, but honestly it's not terrible. The one downside to this is I think it's a bit pricey, $14.95. I got it from the Menagerie Cosmetics website and then you had to pay shipping on top of that, so I think it was around 20 bucks for this lipstick in total. The packaging, I think I just got a bit of a dud because you hear that? Like the, the lid is kind of loose and there's something I can do to fix it. It's just like what the lid does. Um, the actual applicator wand is pretty nice. I like the sharp tip on the end, but I have to say, I don't know. It's probably petty of me to say this, but this bugs the heck out of me. When I'm spending that much money on a lipstick, I just, I want it to not do that. <laughs> that being said, this is still a good lipstick. I think it's, it's not the most expensive here, not the least expensive here. And I think it's on par with the Carity lipstick. So you've got your options. You've got two indie brands. And I did try to, I hope you can see that throughout this. I did try to do a good mix of like indie brands and our bigger well-known like Sephora based brands. All right. So our last two lipsticks unfortunately one of my favorites is from jeffree star i've mentioned time and time again um i used to buy jeffree star cosmetics because i loved the, i love the makeup especially the lipsticks honestly i need someone to dupe the formula of the jeffree star cosmetics lipsticks because they are incredible that being said i've got two here that uh one i'm not crazy about and the other one i love is like my favorite green lipstick so the first one i think this was a limited edition uh, lipstick and this is the shade Karma and it looks like a sparkly bottle but it's actually a matte lipstick and you'll see that in the application portion this is kind of a gross color not gonna lie like there's other I mean I've described some of these other lipsticks as a puke green but like in a cute way this one wasn't <laughs> this one looked kind of gross I love the formula and it's super comfortable but I wasn't a huge fan of the color and I think when I saw it online, I was picturing it look a little different on me in my skin tone, and it didn't. And because it looks so blur, I never reach for this, and I never wear it. So odds are I should probably declutter this, because I'm just not reaching for it. $18 from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. Uh, honestly, for this one, $18 too much. Though I gotta say, I love the packaging. But it is kind of annoying that it's glittery. Like, if this just the white part up here was glittery, I could see, like, it'd just be a packaging thing. But making this part glittery makes you think the lipstick is metallic or glittery, but it's not. It's just matte. And it's, like, a gross color, too. Ew. I don't know why I got this. All right, so 
The last lipstick for this volume is the one I am wearing today underneath the gloss, and that is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick in Crocodile Tears. It's just such a great green shade, and I love the formula. I don't purchase from Jeffree Star Cosmetics anymore. If you want to hear a whole explanation of that, I'll link up my 2020 Pan That Palette series where I am panning a J-Star palette, and I kind of tell you about um, my experience with the brand, why I'm no longer buying from them, all of that is explained in that intro video. But uh, a big part of the reason why I kept buying is because I love the lipstick formula. Damn it. <laughs> so this one is really good. I love this lipstick. It is oh, just perfect. It's comfortable. It's opaque. This formula lasts a full day. So if I ever were to wear this outside for a full day, I'd be fine knowing that this would last. And it does look great with that gloss on top. The Lime Crime gloss, just oh, I'm really glad I got that because I can wear that over a couple of other different lipsticks. And over this one, it just looks perfect. The shades just match so well. This one was $18. I got the full size. I believe I also have a mini from um, one of the mini kits that Jeffree Star Cosmetics came out with as well, and they look fairly similar, but I think they're named different things. So I didn't want to include that in here as well because they're basically kind of the same lipstick. So yeah, this is the winner from this volume just because I love the formula, I love the color, and I love the long-lasting this oof i've been talking too long <laughs> so that is everything here please let me know what you want to see in volume two i actually technically already have one lipstick for volume two and i got it from the kvd vegan beauty <laughs> oh god that's a hot mess but um i picked up the studded black lipstick so that's gonna be one of the first lipsticks for volume two but i need your recommendations and i need your advice so please let me know down below if there's any other green lipsticks you want me to try out literally any finish any glosses bullet liquid lipstick anything let me know down below so i can continue researching for the next volume thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye